After everything, you yourself will decide that is long distance something you should consider or is it something you should just let go? You should just run. Welcome back, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Random Talks with Anna All right, on um, Random Talks with Anna F, we talk about everything relationship for your awesome and relatable content on relationship. Random Talks with Anna F is your go-to relationship with God, relationship with your significant other, and your platonic relationship with other people. All right. If this is what interests you, um, this is your, this is your go-to. All right. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button right now and also like because you are going to like this video, this topic that I'm about to treat with you. This family is growing. I am so, so, so excited. I, I think right about now, Seth, we are supposed to have a community meeting. What do you people think? Just comment down below now. What do you think we should be calling ourselves? <laughs> our community people, our family people. What do you think we should be calling ourselves? Alright, so, thank you so much guys. I don't take your love and support for granted. I really, really appreciate you. God bless you. Let me go straight quickly into what I have for you today. Today we are going to be talking about LDM slash LDR. LDM slash LDR, or let me say LDR slash LDM. LDR slash LDM. You are wondering, am I speaking in tongues? No. L long distance relationship slash long distance marriage. After everything, you yourself will decide that is long distance something you should consider or is it something you should just let go? You should just run. So you will know if you are, um, if you are supposed to stay, you, are, you can still manage it. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to run. So, we are going to be talking about LDR slash LDM. Welcome once again, guys. All right. So, long distance relationship is, um, that situation where you and your partner are not in the same place. Say for an instance now in Nigeria, you are in Lagos and your partner is in Majiguri. Or you are in Nigeria and your partner is in Amsterdam or Australia. Long distance relationship means basically means that you and your partner are not um within the same proximity. There is no proximity between both of you. There is you know now hmm, what are those things what are the things that come see these things i'm about to tell you for they are tested and trusted i i made my research so what i am about to tell you is legit and after you must have finished um listening to this watching this video you can go out yourself and ask people ask questions you will see that what they will tell you will tally with almost everything i'll be telling you here so you should know that after you watch this video whatever decision you make you will be making an informed decision trust me so let's go straight into it baggages or baggage as the case may be that comes with um or that come with long distance relationship things that come with long distance relationship number one topping the list is that if your foundation is not right, number one topping the list is trust issue. You will have trust issues because you are not there to see the person. You don't you don't know what your woman is yes. doing. You don't know what your guy is doing wherever he is. So if your foundation is not right, maybe you don't you didn't meet each other. Um, where you you just know 
you trust this person, even the person you trust or you trusted, when there is no proximity, when there is distance between both of you, there, there is tendency that trust issues will begin to develop. That's number one thing that you should know that will happen. Now, if this if this person is somebody that has proven um, himself or herself over time, then you know that you will quickly counter that trust issue with things they have done over time, with their reputation over time. But that trust issue will not arise. It might arise. Don't let me say it will arise. It's, it's, it might arise. Number two is loneliness. Loneliness. There are times that you just want your person around you. You just want the person you love. There are some situations, there are some issues of life that you just want to put your head on the shoulder of the person you love and rant about your day or rant about your week or rant about an occurrence and then you, they are, they are, they are nowhere to be found. Maybe because their yeah, time zones are different like people's time zones are different because you know there are some places in this world that your own 1 a.m is their 1 p.m your 1 p.m is their 1 a.m so it means to say that somebody's sleep will suffer right so and you might not want them you might not want their sleep to suffer you might not want their work to suffer you might not want their activity to suffer at that particular point in time but still you want to talk to them and then they are they are not available and you are lonely or maybe on your birthday all you want is just to spend birthdays together but that can't be possible so you are lonely you are amidst people but you are still lonely because that person that one person that you want is not available it's not there so loneliness is something that you should prepare for if you are considering long distance marriage or long distance relationship that will now lead to long distance marriage loneliness is something you should prepare for especially in marriage now in marriage that you are legally and lawfully allowed to do the do and then maybe um you just maybe um you you recently got married before the situation happened you people were not even in long distance relationship you people were together but once you got married an opportunity opened that requires that both of you will be separate for a while um one person has to be in another place another the other person has to be in another place for a while and then immediately you got preg you got married you got pregnant as the woman you'll be the only one tending to your pregnancy your pregnancy cravings your pregnancy issues your pregnant your husband is not there for you to um complain to for you to look at for you to see loneliness happens it happens and loneliness number two is what will take us to unhappiness number three because before you know it as you are lonely you begin to become unhappy that why is it me is it just me why why must this happen to me why am i facing this why is this going on why is this happening you become unhappy because at that point where you are lonely you you don't you can't help yourself especially when you are excuse me especially when you are internet savvy especially when you are online a lot you see husbands and wives doing things together playing games together going on dates together and you can't do that you can't have that you begin before you know it you begin to compare yourself and as you are comparing yourself unhappiness sets in it is part of the baggage unhappiness right another thing is fear you may you may get scared that what if things go wrong especially in long distance relationships what what if things go wrong uncertainty uncertainty that will bring fear you'll be thinking ah am i even sure that this this man are we eventually going to um, end up together i know we have plans i know we have our aspirations i know we have said forever is the deal but ah, what if eventually something goes wrong uh, we, um, it does not we may be a part of our communication we we uh, i didn't communicate something well and then she took it wrongly and then she's vexed she's angry at me and then because she's angry at me or because he's angry at me he calls it quit or she calls it quit because she's tired or because he's tired you know you are uncertain about the future and then fear creeps in you see fear or uncertainty and long distance 
So that's part of the baggage. It's something you should really prepare your heart for. And last but not the least thing that you should um expect that you should expect that comes with LDM or LDR is depression. You may slip into depression. You may fall into depression if care is not taken. Because really, some, it's even better. The, okay, I'll still get there. But depression is a real thing that comes with LDR or LDM. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. So does that now mean that everybody doing long distance are doomed? Like people that found themselves in long distance or they decided to do long distance are doomed? Well, I would say doom is a big word. Meanwhile, it could be the reality depending on the people involved. Provided they are, put, they are ready to put in the work, then they are not. But if not, I think that's what best defines them. All right. So what are those things they should put in place? So, hey, so you guys, watch out for the part two of this video to know the things to put in place for long distance relationship slash long distance marriage thank you so much guys for watching um i hope that you have learned a thing or two and i will see you in the next video